welcome to Learn from the Experts, sponsored by WBOA. And today, we get to talk about our yearly fundraising event. And with me is Shelly. Shelly, how are you? Hey, I'm great, darling. How are you doing? Good. Good. So your name and your business. OK, well, my name is Shelly Hines. My business is Wellness Shines. Sounds fun. And rumor has it, you are the chair of the Women's Night of Comedy. Uh, well, I'm co-chair. But oh, yes, co-chair. I'm okay. co-chairing the Women's Night of Comedy, Marianne. And that is the Women Business Owner Alliance, Alliance of, of the Pioneer Valley. That is our biggest event of the year, our biggest fundraiser. And it's going to be a blast. Women's Night of Comedy. That sounds fun. Yeah. So what can somebody expect if they go to this? Well, what we've done is we've gathered um, three top comedians. Actually, one gal is a local, um, Jennifer Mazowski. We've got two headliners. Uh, we've got Carrie Davies and we've got, or pardon me, Carrie Louise and Sherry Davies. And these gals are uh, New York City. One gal's an English gal, and they just are hysterical. So it's going to be at the Log Cabin in Holyoke, and we will start at 5 o'clock where we'll have cocktails, and there'll be boutique shopping. So Fun. we have vendors that are local business women in the valley that are going to show off their wares. They'll be selling things. They'll be educating. And it's fantastic to see all these women coming out. So we'll have the boutique shopping and cocktails and snacks at starting at 5 o'clock. And then we'll head down from there. And um, oh, pardon me, we'll also be having a raffle. So this is really great because we get donations of raffle baskets. So we'll do donations of tickets, or pardon me, ticket uh, giveaways. And then we'll pull those tickets, and we're going to give away all those baskets. So this is how we raise funds. It's by the donations and kindness of others, which is brilliant. Great. And then so the vendors, we've got the baskets. And then we'll go into the main room. Again, cocktails will always be allowed for a full sit-down dinner. And we actually have a gluten-free um, entree, which is fantastic, and vegetarian vegan options, which is beautiful. And the log cabin does gorgeous food. Yes, they do. So we get to have a really gorgeous meal. And then we will have, we'll be pulling the tickets while everybody's watching the show. And we are partnering up with some amazing organizations as well because the Women's Business Owner Alliance is a, we are a nonprofit. And so, yeah. Right. No, good. But before I forget, what is the date of this? That is March the 23rd. Perfect. 2017. Perfect. Yeah. And so, okay, so we're raising funds. We are. And what are we going to do with the funds? Well, it's beautiful because the WBOA ourselves, what we do with them is we we instigate more educational programs for women in the valley. We teach about connection, and it's a really fantastic way for us to develop as business women, mm -hmm. uh, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, education on all levels, which is brilliant. And um, we will also be partnering with two other really extraordinary charities, and we're very excited this year to be working with um, Smart Girls from the Boys and Girls Club of Westfield. And and Safe Passage, which when I look at these organizations, I'm thrilled about them because yes. we have young women coming up into their power, which is the Smart Girls program. And then we also have women through um, Safe Passage that are regaining their power. That is so and awesome. And so, you know, for all of us, and especially as women in, in the world, you know, we really need to bond together and support one another. So Absolutely. it's a glorious way to do it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and I have this, fav one of my favorite sayings is something like, uh, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Mm -hmm. And so when I hang around these kind of people doing great stuff, and it just, I feel like it just raises my energy and, yeah. and just passion for all this. Well, thank you, Shelly. It sounds like a really great time. I know I'm going and I'm looking forward to it. And um, I hope we see some other people there. Oh, we will. <laughs> We're expecting at least 400 women. Yeah. And that's an average. We This is our 24th year. Wow. So, and we sometimes have raised up to $10,000. So this is not a little game. This right. is a big game. Yeah. We're at it. Yeah. So we hope that a lot of other people. Well, we brought two women with us today to represent these organizations, and that's exciting. Mm -hmm. So we have Kelly. How about you give me your name and what you do? Okay. My name is Kelly Brown. I'm the Director of Operations at the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Westfield. Um, I've been with the organization 17 years, wow. and I'm so thankful to the WBOA for, for sponsoring us this year. Um, we are so excited to be a part of your organization, so thank yeah. you. No, th and, pleasure, huh? you know, thank you for what you do. And so mm -hmm. the Boys and Girls Clubs, as I said, was Smart Girls? My Correct. Correct. Okay. So what exactly does Smart Girls do? Smart Girls is um, a program that's run under National Boys and Girls Clubs. So you can find them at all 
local boys and girls clubs in the surrounding areas as well as nationwide. Um, it's a program geared for young women ages 12 to 18 and the program focuses basi basically on anything that's happening in the world today. Um, we are here to help empower young women to strive to be the best that they can be but yet to let them know that they can be the best that they can be. Um, we indulge in um, health and hygiene, to academics, to what it is to be a business owner, mm -hmm. that it is possible for women to be whatever they want to be in today's society. That's great. And I remember reading something where girls might have really high self-esteem at around six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. and then around that age of 11, 12, 13 often start to go down. So that's catching them at just an awesome Correct. time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you just say maybe a couple of um, ways people could get involved? Um, well, it's a uh, program that's run by our education coordinator directly at the Boys and Girls Club, okay. but I can tell parents who have any young teen girls that may be in the need of a little extra support or help in the field of um, academics, social support, um, anything that they feel that their child may need help with, that we are there at the Boys and Girls Club to help gear these girls into the directions that they want to take. and into and then again to be able to enable them to do and to strive like I said before to be whatever they want to be um, but it's always nice to know that there's a mentoring component waiting for yes. them down at the Boys and Girls Club yes. wow, and then we great. have women like the WBOA that is the end culmination where they can actually see the results of what their hard work can do for them Wow yeah. that's great yeah. that's really good and just maybe one little activity that you find interesting that you've can think of that through the smart girls yes. program uh, we've done a really great job on um, preventing teen pregnancy oh, um, we great. have our real babies which um, are very real uh, mm -hmm. that the girls tend to take home and they have 24 hours to become a mom and mm -hmm. see that there is more to just having a baby that raising the baby is actually where all the hard work finally comes in wow that's so amazing told me that. <laughs> <laughs> These Definitely. babies do come with directions. Yeah. So, oh, that's something different. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank, thank you, you for what you do because that's really, we need people and organizations mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that. So thank you. That is great. And so Greta, tell me your Hi. full name and what you do. Yeah, so my name is Greta Hagen. I'm the Assistant Director of Development at Safe Passage. We're located here in Northampton and we're the Domestic Violence uh, Prevention and Survivor Advocacy Agency serving Hampshire County as well as the Hamden County Hilltowns. So we work in collaboration with the uh, community health centers in the Hilltowns in Huntington and Worthington as well. Um, and so we offer many services to survivors. We have a six family emergency shelter um, in a confidential spot in Northampton. Um, it's always full. We always have six adults and up to 15 kiddos. So wow. it can be a, a wild and awesome and hard place to live. Oh, yeah. sure. Uh, sharing bathrooms, sharing a kitchen, um, speaking in many languages at once. Um, wow. And so, but it's a chance for folks to get safe and plan their next step. So we do offer that. We have a, an emergency hotline that we uh, run 24 hours a day, seven days a week snowstorms, holidays, everything, um, in collaboration with Nelquit, which is the uh, domestic violence organization up in Franklin County, and also with the CWC, the Center for Women and Community, which is the sexual assault center on the UMass campus. So we work in collaboration wow. with them. And then we have counseling for adults and for kids, both individual counseling and support groups for women, for parents, for folks who are recovering from PTSD, which we know um, is a domestic violence has lasting effects and oh, so sure. even when people are immediately safe there we offer them support that's more long term yeah. one of the programs that WBOA and other you know um, events that we collaborate with helps to sponsor is our legal program which I'm really really excited about because it it offers free counseling legal counseling by a licensed attorney to folks who are involved in uh, family and probate court so divorce or custody cases. Um, and also, in addition to having our own attorney, we refer out to a panel of attorneys at no cost to the, to the client. So wow. WBOA's Women's Night of Comedy helps us make sure that all these services are free. So it's really important, and we're so excited to <laughs> collaborate again this That's year. Great. Plus, we love it. It's so funny, and we're just a great chance for us. We brought our whole table last year of, mm -hmm. of um, 
colleagues, and it was a fun night to kind of decompress together. So and we're excited to do it again. Laugh about things laugh that are about very it. serious. Yeah. Laugh yeah. about right? some stuff, yeah. Yeah. yeah, which yeah. self care is important in our work, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> All of our work yes. Yes. Right. in our so lives. In our yes. lives. Yes. And so it's important to have that outlet. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Well, thank you because, I mean, now more and more abuse is becoming more, before it was more behind closed doors and nobody talked about it and the attitude was, well, you should have gotten out. And right. now it's being made very aware that, no, you can't get out. It's not that easy. Right. Well, you can get out, but it's not easy. Right. And you definitely need a lot of support. Yeah. So thank you for well, supporting you. these women and um, families. And I think it's great. And so, yeah, I think it'll be fun to come together and laugh and support mm -hmm. all this great stuff. So, and we just want to let men know that you are welcome. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We don't yes. want to diss men. We <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> yes. But, you know, we're just, it's Women's Night of Comedy because we are supporting women and it's women organizations. But of course, without men, where would we be? Right. No, you're right. And I knew I, I really fell in love with my husband when I was dating him and I found out that I was busy one day and he came to Northampton. You have a walk for whip, domestic violence, yes, something. Yes, we do. And he said, yeah, he goes, I didn't have anything to do, and I heard about this domestic violence walk, so I went and supported the woman there. I'm like, Aww. he's a keeper. That's it. That's <laughs> I love him, want. too, <laughs> as it turns out. <laughs> really? and, so. Yeah, and really needing to teach our young men that, yes, for yeah. sure. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So and great. Jennifer Muskowski, actually, is our MC at that event, so we're really excited to oh, laugh with her again. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. hilarious, awesome. so we can't wait. That's oh, our good. local comedian. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. awesome. Good. Well, thank all of you for coming. And thank so we you. have Kelly Brown yep. from Boys and Girls Club, which Westfield. is of Westfield, yep. which is the Smart Girls. Correct. And then Greta. Greta Hagen. Yep. Hagen with Smart pa uh, Safe Passage. That's right. Yeah. So thank you both so much. Thank, thank you. you. And Shelly? I would just like to say... A recent study has found that women who carry a little extra weight live longer than the men who mention it. Join us. Yes. Yes. Right. Women's Night of Comedy. <laughs> thank you so much. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this, learned something, and look forward to maybe joining us. And if you want to know any, anything else about this, go to our website, wboa.org. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. That was a lot thank of fun. You.